What's up guys, Zach man, doing a little uh, video update on some cryptocurrencies, Tron, TRX, Bitcoin, Holo Chain, all that fun jazz. Alright, so let's get to it. Um, obviously over the weekend we kind of had a little bit of a downtrend, uh, a little bit sideways, but then it kind of went, you know, we had a higher low and a lower low and all that stuff. Um, then uh, this early this morning we had a little candle spike. So let's kind of see if we get all the way from the bottom to the very top there. It's about 15% uh, spike, um, as you can see right there. So we almost hit our uh, resistance up here, but uh, kind of went back down after that. And we kind of followed back down. So actually, I, I was really surprised when I got up and I saw the spike. I was like, whew, what happened here? Um, but because, uh, yeah, because we kind of fell through. I figured we'd be on our downtrend heading to the support down here. But uh, no. Um, obviously got a little bit of a surge there and went up and then kind of right now we're a little bit sideways so we'll have to kind of see you know we've got a little bit of a resistance again right here from a, a previous high but obviously we kind of went up there but uh, no idea what uh, obviously I know I think with, uh, with B, uh, BTT uh, got listed on some other exchanges so there's a lot of people getting into that as well uh, so there's a lot of different variables that are going on right now but uh, yeah I was pretty shocked to see that so um, I would say uh, again if we can't Get above this resistance here to touch it again. Um, I'd say that we'd uh, probably head back down here and to uh, somewhere right around this area to you know retest the support, um, and then hopefully we kind of just bounce around as uh, gradually we go up though. Hopefully, so until we get uh, closer and closer to the the tightening of the wedge here before it uh, really breaks out. So uh, hopefully uh, things go good and smoothly if uh, by February or before. February 11th, we should see a takeoff in price just because of the airdrop that's going to be happening. Uh, so that's pretty positive stuff. Holo chain, well, that's kind of sideways right now. We're kind of just up and down here, kind of following the moving averages as well. Uh, Bitcoin, now we're uh, we're getting close to a breakout for Bitcoin. Uh, probably in the next, uh, probably sometime today, tomorrow. Um, really close though, there's going to be a breakout because we're kind of closing in on this little wedge right here. Uh, my guess is we're going to be going down though. Um, I don't think it's going to go up. I'm pretty sure we're going to hit down probably. The, it'll probably go down by five or six percent uh, right around that 3100 uh, is where I'm uh, projecting it to go or lower, maybe closer to three. So I don't think it's going to go up. I believe it's going to go down. So you should see a breakout of it heading down pretty soon here because we're below all the MAs. Um, and like I said, we have to hit uh, the support anyways right down in here. So. Uh, we'll see a surge down, like I said, probably, um, like I said, thir between 31 and 3200 is where it should go. And then it'll kind of go sideways up and down, and then we'll hit another surge down, and then hopefully it'll hit sometime by the end of February, hopefully. And then we'll, hopefully that'll begin the bull run a little bit and kind of test uh, some resistance of the some previous highs and stuff like that. So that is what my prediction is for Bitcoin as far as that goes. Um, Tron right now, uh, and that's the top three coins to watch between February 4th and February 10th. And again, the reason why that is is because of um, do, uh, with, uh, the Binance launch pad and all that stuff. And obviously with the exchange, uh, is that a lot of uh, participants are contributed to the BNB or TRX tokens on February 11th. The BitTorrent Foundation will conduct its first major airdrop of 10.8 billion BitTorrent uh, tokens. Um, to the TRX ho uh, holders over the next 12 months following the initial airdrop 11.8 billion uh, will be offered to TRX holders which is around 1.2% of the total supply. The BTT team will be aimed to reward TRX holders with BTT tokens over the coming years and outline their long term plans uh, here so if you want to click on that which I'll leave a, a link in the description as well for you guys so you guys can kind of see what's going on so other than that, there wasn't really no major news. I was trying to find it as far as why that breakout handle are happened. But like I said, I know BTT uh, did get listed on some more exchanges other than Binance, uh, the Launchpad and Binance itself. So uh, the BitTorrent token is actually being listed on a lot of other exchanges. So that could be uh, why. And obviously, uh, excuse me, I had to take a drink. Um, the airdrop's coming soon, too, so a lot of people are probably loading up as much uh, uh, tokens as possible before the airdrop, so that way they can get in on the free uh, BitTorrent tokens. So uh, keep an eye on that. Like I said, I believe uh, Tron like kind of will follow that wedge, and we should have a breakout, hopefully, before February 11th. Like I said, if we can kind of 
follow this and then kind of if we need we just need to get through this resistance we need to get past four keep make a good support at four and then shoot off to eight nine cents and then kind of establish new territory new support up there and then kind of slowly slow growth is better than obviously down growth but uh you know i'll take that over uh big uh candles but uh we just gotta keep on keep on growing slowly and hopefully uh things will pick up but thanks for watching guys have a great day